okay? Hello there everybody, this is Dustan from Garage Defan once again with you and in this video I want to talk about Nissan Celia S15s. Some of you guys have been asking me to make a special video on Nissan Skyline S15s that we have available for sale at our shop. And as I have replied to many of you, in this video I want to talk about the ones particularly available for sale at our shop and tell you a little bit about the models that we sell here because S15s mainly come in two different models. One is Spec R Edition, the other one is Spec S Edition. And in this shop, we only sell Spec R Editions and in this video, you get to know why we sell only this edition sports cars. So let's check out the cars. As most of you guys know, we are Nissan Skyline GTR specialty shop and mostly in uh, Nissan Skyline GTR34s and many other models of uh, Nissan Skylines, especially GTRs. But of course, not only that, we also sell many other type of Japanese sports cars such as uh, Supras. We have uh, Supra, different models of Supras for sale all the time. Um, and we also have uh, RX-7s, NSX's, as well as a GTR 35 as you can see here. But including those cars, of course, we also always have a number of Selvia S15 Spec R's for sale available. Every time you come to our shop, and those one of you who have visited our shop, that you know, uh, that on the right side of our shop, we have number of S15 spec cars always available for sale. 67 of them at any given time. And as you can see here, we have three uh, yellow color, one red, one white, and over there another one, um, uh, basically, um, what is this color? It's not silver, it's a, uh, yeah, it's kind of silver, dark silver or something like that color, anyways. Uh, again, we have six of them right now for sale. And just to point that out, we are doing some um, uh, some cleaning at the end of the year and getting getting rid of the parts that we don't need. And those basically muffers are in relatively good condition, but at the end of the day, we don't need them. So we're just trying to figure out what to do with them. So, anyways, um, so just to point that out, why we focus on S15 spec. R edition most of the time is because spec R's for mostly professional, very experienced drivers. Uh, spec R's come with turbo engine and it has, um, I think, 250, is it? 200 H, 250 HP, I think. And they're also six speed manual compared to spec S edition, which is mostly for amateurs. And amateurs being, I mean, what I mean by that is that it's a five-speed manual transmission and it's non-turbo engine with 160 HP only. So a big difference here when it comes to the performance and most of the people in Japan prefer Spec R edition as because of course it's a lot more powerful um, uh, as you can understand. So uh, that's exactly one of the reasons why we focus on Spec R's, right? And just to point out, Spec R's idle parts also different compared to Spec S, especially the side skirts here and the wings at the at the back side as well. So most of the Spec S's come like this. Uh, I don't think this one is genuine, anyways. But Spec S's most of the time come like this, and Spec R's most of the time come with the aero specs like this with a with a genuine uh, wings like that and some other parts and that one is GT wing and a lot of people end up basically setting up GT wings on their cars but again depends on the people as well this S15 spec car is very much modified and has a GT wing as well and just to point it out that all guys are taken off that GT wing so as for the price of uh, S spec S and Spec R. Spec S, of course, is much more cheaper in Japan. You can find S15 Spec S for around five to six thousand US dollars right now in the market in Japan. They are very cheap compared to Spec R's, which are usually uh, starts with twelve thousand bucks, twelve thousand USD to twenty thousand USD within that price range. Just to point that out, some of them that we have for sale. For example, this white uh, Nissan Celia S15 Spec R Edition has only 98,000 kilometers. Genuine, it's an accident-free, dent-free, very clean condition and with lovely performance, of course. And we are asking for this car, 1,788,000 Japanese yen, that, which is equal to about 16,000 US dollars. 
as for this lovely red one which comes with as you can see a uh, genuine r32 gtr wheels and they look really lovely on this car this one has just been sold out um, and as you can see uh, it's say sold out in Japanese and thank you have a nice drive in English as well uh, that, that we basically put that board once the car is sold out already just to give you quick information about this car as well this is also a dent free accident free very clean condition rail color spec R S15 and it has 112,000 kilometers I think as I remember and uh, yeah it has been sold out for 1,880,000 uh, thousand Japanese yen, which is around 17,000 US dollars. If you think about it, it's a fabulous price for lovely cars like that and and one of the reasons why they are cheaper compared to other similar cars because is because of course they are not again you cannot import those cars until little until 2023 or so to the United States and and as you guys understand since the United States is the biggest market most of the inflation hasn't hit Japan for those cars yet but again they are lovely they are very fast and they are the best Japanese JDM cars for drift I would I would be pretty much confident to say so just to point out several other cheaper version uh, S15s that we have here uh, this one I think as far as I remember it has hundred twenty five thousand kilometers or so but this one is around 13,800 US dollars that we are asking for let me let me speed up this video a little bit so that we don't have to spend too much time this spec R as very much modified and as you can see it comes with modified hood and the engine itself has also been modified and as you can see air parts comes up like this it's pretty cool actually so it looks pretty much lovely just like I mentioned a little bit earlier it also has got the GT wing here which makes it look pretty awesome but again all guys are taking it off for now and as you can see the exterior has been modified and it looks pretty lovely pretty aggressive so as the interior seat has been modified for this one it has got the bridge seat as you can see I don't have the keys right now and uh, you know I, oh there you go you can see the uh, the GT wing inside the car or guys have put the GT wing in the car and I, I have no idea to be honest with you why they did that but again you know uh, they are taking care of the cars and and good maintenance of it and sometimes they basically uh, take some parts off and on stuff like that and and one more thing whenever you're buying a car in Japan I always highly recommend you to look at the Gukaten report any basically reputed dealerships in Japan provide a third-party evaluation report just like this and it says in English as well you car trading report and this report is basically third party independent party evaluation report for example if you are contacting for the Japanese customers for example if somebody's contacts us from Hokkaido or Okinawa it's thousand kilometers away they cannot come to our shop just to purchase a car they just buy it online and what we need most of the time is that third party independent evaluation on the car and this is exactly where this kind of uh, reports come in handy somebody basically comes from agency evaluates the car independently and gives a grade on the car and in this case as you can see it has got for the exterior five stars out of uh, four stars out of five for the interior four stars out of five basically five star means almost brand new car four star means you know it's a very good condition but again it is not a uh, it has some issues such as those issues could be who knows a little bit of scratches or something but again everything is stated in this basically uh, uh, report and here as you can see uh, it has a report for example the report itself says here number of modifications done to the car I mean whatever that might be concerned as well it says front uh, Cross member, cross member, coca. So basically, the front cross member has been replaced, and basically, a number of other parts that basically have been replaced here. That this this report provides full detailed information on. So even if you are contacting us from abroad, then and, and or or anywhere, if you want to buy a car from Japan, I highly recommend you to ask for that car whether it has a third-party independent evaluation report or not then always basically having a third-party evaluation uh, helps you a lot to basically um, to have a better picture of the car's condition 
uh, before you can commit to that car and us being one of the very highly reputed uh, sports car dealerships in Japan we request and we provide third-party independent evaluation report on every single one of the cars that we have for sale at our shop so yeah uh, this one is relatively stock compared to this one and this one again is aggressively modified um, interior uh, engine room engine compartment exterior as you can see even the wheels and Brembo brakes as you can see so this, this has a pretty much excessive uh, excessive modifications done to the car but this one is relatively more stock but again it is also yellow color just so that you know we have three yellow color s15 spec r's here but just to point that out this yellow color is actually quite rare compared to other cars so and apparently we have three of them which is pretty cool isn't it uh yeah so all right let's so let's move on let me tell you a little bit about the uh last remaining s15 spec r that we have and this one has just recently arrived and our guys are still working on this one to prepare this one for sale um again this one is also i have i don't have much information on this but this, except for the fact that i know it has run 108,000 kilometers and it has some issues that we are still working it preparing it for sale and uh, we will be actually uh, working on those issues for example if you look here uh, it has some rust wipers again we can take this whole thing off we can basically we can replace this or we can fix this it's no problem but what is most important for us is the rust inside the engine compartment yeah, of course on our body as well so this rust could be in a result of a rain or something like that because it was kept outdoor and under the rain and it, because of that it become it can become rusty but what matters for us is underbody and actually I can do it like this so that you get to see a little bit of underbody so I don't have a lot of information about this car once again with you uh, but uh, yeah, it will be available for sale very soon at our shop uh, Meaning that about several weeks after of course because our guys are quite busy as well and working with other cars You can see this has the wing has been taken off I'm sure one of our guys have taken it off and the old lady start working on the car and uh, Yeah, and our workshop at the back is full of cars. We have four cars uh, at the backside workshop in about 11 to 12 cars at the defend racing services workshop over there which we are actually working on different cars to have them fixed and prepare them for sale but uh yeah just to make it short the video has becoming uh, quite long already those are the number of s15 speak r's that we have for sale and i told you a little bit about the difference between the spec s and spec r thank you for taking your time to watch this video and if you have any questions as usual please feel free to basically make comments in the, below this video and I will be more than happy to get back to you. So see you in the next video once again. Cheers everybody.